Welcome back to the Abundant Harvest Homestead. We've got a good day today. I've got some friends over and they wanted to put my smokehouse to the test. Oof, it is warm in there, a nice bed of coals. They brought over some special premium championship better burning Texas all natural hardwood premium lump charcoal for smoking and grilling. So they want to see if we can do like 17 chickens all at once. They uh, had an opportunity to go teach some people um, butchering and their payment was a pile of chickens that they helped butcher. So while they're living their own life and knowing how to butcher animals and teaching their children, even from a young age, how to get the food out of the animals like that, they're also teaching others and uh, had a good time. And rather than running two or three through his own smoker, his own grill at once, he thought, why don't I just come down to Papa Pepper's and do them all at once? Not a bad idea. We're going to see how it works. So since we're heating this thing up and we're only putting in 17 chickens. Um, yesterday, I went and got myself another carp. So I've got it brined in here. Two giant fillets. I know how great smoked carp is, so I'm really excited about that. And then for a while now, too, I've been making refrigerator salami. So this is just ground beef with some different seasonings and stuff in it. And I use this aluminum foil to shape it. But I'm gonna take a pile of those and I'm gonna smoke those. Now this is not like a, uh, we're hot smoking here. We're not cold smoking and this is not a hard salami recipe. But I wanna get into that too and see if I can make something that doesn't need to be refrigerated that I can preserve my meat that way. And then maybe just like vacuum seal them and throw them in the cupboard or something. I mean, I got a friend too who'll just hang them in his, um, root cellar. So kind of exciting, getting some things started and we're looking to see how this experiment works. Got any guesses who the friend is? Anyone know? Leave a guess in the comment section if you think you might know. I will say the fellow and his family have a YouTube channel. They do some stuff. I've interacted with them before and um, yeah this would be like the most though thus far that I've quote unquote featured them on our channel. So you may not, uh, that might be a good clue. Let us know if you got a guess.
So you want to smoke all those at once? Yeah. <laughs> That's a lot of a lot of chickens there. I didn't come to sit down. I came to get down. Nice. We ain't got no time. Ain't nobody got time to smoke a bird or a single bird at a time. No, no. I think it'll streamline the process. Just a little. One bit. fire, one smoking session. Tons of cooked meat. I got that carp in there already, and the refrigerator salami. I would but say, I, I saved your room. I'd say this is about 85, 90 pounds of meat right here. For real? That's it. Got Patrick from MT Knives. See? Yep. He's the mystery smoker today. So like yesterday, these guys were still running around this early in the morning. Yep, we were giving them a we were giving them a session yesterday. You ever ride on that ride on the fair? You the know? ferry? Cutting across? No, oh, the ride on the stand fair. up against the wall and it spins you round, round, round. The around. gravitron. Yeah. Yeah. These guys got to go on something similar to that. <laughs> so we had these fingers, rubber fingers that cleaned off. Plucked the and clean. Yeah, right. There. Whiz bang chicken plucker. Whiz bang gravitron. Yeah. Oh, look here. Must be this tall to ride, and then you're like, you know what? You're a little too tall, so you just take their heads off, and they're short enough to ride. There you go. All right, let's get her seasoned let's, up. Let's season. The kids were, Man. I think they were spraying yeah. the hose. Oh, I guess, yeah. Got that full of water. Tis the season. This is his special mix he just mixed up. We got jars of it. All right. All right, tis the season. Let's get it. See, I don't really need this much seasoning. Hey, if it got extra, we'll use it next time. Right. I mean, I'll use a lot of it, don't get me wrong. My wife might be right, though. Dude, they smell so good already with that seasoning. I found out you can spice this, the skin enough that the kids don't like it. Ha! That's the trick? He just spices it up enough that you guys don't like it and then he gets to eat it all? Well, I still eat skin. All right. Uh, Let's, uh, so are we going to... You think hook them and hang them? Hook them by their neck and hang them? How do you want to hook them? Do you think they're not going to get... If they get to smoke them, might they fall off? I got a grate at the bottom level to catch them if they do. Okay. But I can secure them pretty good with those we hooks. We could hook them through their wishbone or rib or something. Yeah. Because... I mean, I don't know if that net got smoked, if it would just the weight of the chicken would pull it off or not. Only one way to find out. I'd rather experiment with somebody else's. <laughs> That's why I like you so much. I'm I honest. Go down here inside the breast and hook around the. You got one of those hooks. Malik, I hold this. Here. So I think I'm going to come right in here. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's a solid hang. Nice. Right there. Take a breath first. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Are we gonna start at the back? You, I need would. A, you know what you need? A little like hook thing that you can just reach in there and oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. two handed little oh, yeah. you know what? Yes. I'll move it back in a minute, I'll adjust them. I'll get off the camera and actually help. One in guys. Sixteen more to go. We're gonna load up some more. We will. Like yeah, we want to uh, put all the food loaded. in first and then, <laughs> then do it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Your sense of adventure.
at that guys. That is one layer and it's not even full. There's another whole section that could come this way and nobody's on this bar. That's four racks, four. Wow. Yeah, and I doubled up the rebar on the rows guys because they were kind of bending. So we'll let this all start going. I'm gonna pull that cart probably to the front. Let those guys go up there, but that is awesome. And then we'll stoke this thing up and shut the door. Yeah, I would individually place each one and only one layer or we're gonna really keep this thing up. Too hot. Yeah. It's already dripping. See, that's the thing too, is that it's gonna be dripping down on this. Uh, no, getting some little flare ups. Oh, I didn't think about that. We'll see. Yeah, we might if I think something's going wrong, I'll put a catch on there. You should. Uh, should we put a deflector to keep drips from falling right on the fire? We can. I mean, I don't care. I don't know if it'll matter yet. We'll find out. Yeah. If we think it's an issue, I got a whole stack of pans here and stuff I can spread out. Big chunks of fat I took out. Actually, what I do in my smoker a lot of times is I have a ceramic stone. Yeah. And then on top of that, I put a pan with water and because uh, the fat burning doesn't really give you a good smoke so then that way you know it's not altering the flavor of the smoke so that might be something to consider I don't know if it matters or not only one way to find out yeah, yeah that looks pretty good that'll heat it up real quick here I'd like to get a big shot They ain't Texas hey, size. You want to see the secret to opening these bags, right? The oh yeah, guys. He, you know, a lot of people struggle whether it's one of these bags or a feed bag. They got this. Yeah. So and here's the way to tell every time. You see this end? Yeah. And you see this end right there? Yeah. They're so virtually indistinguishable. Right here. There, that's the right end, right? Right there. Nice. So that's the secret. Take it from a knife maker, guys. That is the proper way to open one of these every time. You got a big one you still want? To? You want to throw that in there? Yeah, we can do that. Ooh, we do get some drips. That's still just salt water. That would probably be good. Nice. Today is a happy day for my people. quite a distance from Spain and bulls, bulls are dangerous for children. So we can't do the running of the bulls, but we can do the running of the sheep. And I'm gonna see how these kids run with these sheep. They're all excited, they're getting ready. The sheep are getting ready. So we're gonna start about here. I'll have monster truck get on the gate. Monster truck, get to the gate. Everyone else get ready about here. Get to the gate. You're gonna open them. Yeah. I'm gonna get them excited here. You guys gotta practice this. Ready? Try this. Yeah. Can you do it? Yeah. Yeah. Can you do it? Yeah, he can do it. <laughs> Tell him. Uh, that's right. Here they come, ready? One, two, three, go. Here they come, kids. Go, go, go. Go, go, keep going, keep going. You gotta go through the next one. Come on, come through. They're catching us. Keep going, bud. Go, go, go. Here comes a cow. Meh. The cow stopped. We made it. We made it.
I didn't give any to him. Little bit yeah. yeah, and you're waiting your turn for the smokehouse? You'll get there. Uh, not like that, child. You're gonna get in trouble. Yeah. Was that fun? Was that fun, girls? Did any get you? It has now been hours, hours, I tell you, and look at this. Wow, wow, look at this. 220, 220, 210. And we did a couple things, yeah. Lowered one for lunch. That's the low hanging fruit right there. Everyone else is just raining right now. They're sprinkling hard. I got the smoke carp up there. And there's where I'm working on my, whoa. Too much humidity. That's where I got the uh, refrigerator salami I'm smoking, so we're gonna see how that goes. Throwing some taters on for later, too. <laughs> should I hang it or should I set it in there? Ooh, I think hang it for now. If we're gonna go to the lake and try to catch some fish, hook? there's that. I, I would heavy? double or double, double or triple hook it. Might as well, we got them. Yep. Should I take the top off so that the smoke can get in there? Wouldn't you? I would, and I'd center it maybe too. Do we need to throw some more coal on there? I would not with the temp that we're running right now. Probably right before we go maybe. And then um, I'm gonna check one of those big guys. And our lunch one might be ready, huh? I would hang that right above that <laughs> Dutch oven, just let it drip in there. <laughs> Are we throwing any more on or not, or coals on? I think we'll chuck a couple right before we leave. All right, I just didn't know how I should move this. I would, I'd do that. Should I turn the lunch one? I think we should, think uh, it's ready? I'm thinking do it's- Do you have a tent probe? Yeah. Check the breast. Ooh, the race begins. I got a quick read. Oh, yeah? Like there, I don't know what it's called. Oh, I'm trying to be more virtuous. They say yeah. patience is a virtue. Look at that, dude. Look at how many that is. That's nice. I'd like to see a little more smoke color to them. I got hickory. I think we need... I don't know, what do you think? Throw some. They don't look very smoky, do they? No, they don't. It's the professional stuff. That or... I wonder if it's just because in my grill, like there's so much more volume here. Yeah. You know, we could throw, we could fill the cold smoker up and let some of that smoke come in. You know, double the smoke. Yeah, I was considering that. And I could even just, uh... Let's do that. So that, that way scoop we're not out, getting it too hot. Scoop out some of these coals, throw them in the yeah. back, and then let it ride. Let's yeah, we can do that 100%. We can load that sucker heavy and get right. smoke rolling. Hey, son, give me the short handled fire scoop. Yes, Good answer. It's, it's reading about 150. I mean, it's supposed to get to 160. But. Yeah, it's 150 and climbing right now. I gotta check some of those top shelf guys. Clean the ashes out of there, or we got plenty of room, so I wouldn't worry about it. But at some point, I should. I'm gonna go grab another scoop. For yeah. It looks good in there. All the chicken thing. Yep. You excited? Yeah. I think we're getting right where we need to be. Wow, yeah. I'm gonna load this up, man. Why? 
Go for it. Let me that have that billow, would you please? Really interested to see how this refrigerator salami turns out in here. Oof. What a setup. So I got I got away from Patrick for a moment. Um, we ate the one for lunch. It's really tasty. Really, really tasty. And I had one of my refrigerator salamis. And it's it's really tasty. But using that charcoal stuff, there was like no smoke flavor. So we put some hickory back in the um, thing. So now we have some actual smoke coming out of here. If I opened up, it'd be really white. Um, the carp, even after all those hours in here, it was completely different than the way I like the carp. It was just soft and tasted like baked fish. So just a completely different thing. Um, and this is one thing too where personal preference comes into play. You know, there's people who will say a lot of different things. I like a nice dense smoke and I like laying the whole logs on there. Sometimes I leave the bark on, sometimes I don't, but it gives it a really good flavor for me. Um, and, I, and I like it. Now we're finally riding at like 180. We were always up around 200 and stuff with that charcoal and there was no visible smoke. You could see where it had penetrated a bit, but there was no flavor with it. Um, the seasonings and stuff, absolutely awesome. But like even my refrigerator salami, normally I would use smoke flavorings that would give it its smoke flavor and then put it in the oven. Um, we had a tasty salami, the one I cut up for lunch, but there was no smoke flavor. Um, so we went back here to the cold smoker on the bed of coals he had in there. I started laying down some of my hickory logs. And now we've got where you can actually see smoke coming out of here. And we're gonna see how that does by comparison. Just personal for preference. I prefer if I'm smoking something to have it be smoky. That's all. So we're doing a little bit of living and learning. I, uh, I'm not sure if Patrick will watch this video or not, but I snuck out here, record that real quick. And then the, the meat's absolutely delicious. It's, it's wonderfully cooked, it's great, but I'd have a hard time calling it smoked, if you know what I mean. So, we got that going on. Well, we just paused for a moment, had some fun at the lake. Now I gotta see where these guys are at. 140 some, just under 150, 140. Ha! Ah. And that was a pretty good break. Let me see what's going on. And then we might have to, yeah. Oh, this feels so amazing in here. These guys look so good. That looks amazing. That carp's looking better. And there's that stuff. I gotta rinse up my hands and check this stuff out. I don't know. Is it smokier? It might be. Oh, that carp feels a lot better. It's got some stuff. We'll see. It was all <laughs> doing whatever before. I just pumped some extra smoke into the back, but we can start clearing things out. It's a beautiful sight though, ain't it? It is. Look at that too. Those potatoes look tasty. They do. I'm gonna see what that tastes like now. Well, we decided to split them all open and finish them off. We got the smoke rolling in the back. Now we're gonna heat these things up one last time. They are beautiful, they are dripping, they are well seasoned, but we're just gonna make sure we got everything taken care of the way it should be. Are you making kindling with a sharp knife? Yeah. I'm attempting to. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. 
Gott, so. Early man was rather simple in his ways, but what he lacked in intelligence, he made up for in effectiveness. Let's just hope I don't hit a knot. You haven't seen my penny chopping videos, have you? Yeah. Put your fingers down. All right, ready? Yeah, I've seen your penny shopping videos. I like them. And you know my other favorite video? What's that? No, no. Shooting fireballs at yourself? Oh. Well, I'm not sure I know which one you're talking about. There's multiple shooting fireballs at yourself videos you put out. Multiple shooting fireballs. I'm not really sure what you're talking about. Yeah, you are. No, honestly, I'm not. <laughs> well, you started off just launching fireballs out in the open. And then you got like a backdraft. And the balloon full of combustible. That wasn't me. Shot. Yeah, it was. No. Yeah. That wasn't you? No, that wasn't me. That was a different That's dude what you made were just it recording? Funny. It oh, was just man. some dude I was recording. Really? No. <laughs> he had a hat on like you got on the back I of your sure shirt. <laughs> Didn't he? No. He had a beard and that was not me. a hat on like you were on the back of your shirt. No, that was not me. That gentleman was a slightly inebriated. No, <laughs> you're just saying that. No? I'm pretty sure that was you. No. Dad. Guy worked on a fishing ship. Really? Yep. oil on the wood it doesn't split very well. Dude I got a knife you can beat oh, up if you want. Guard. I like beating up they my guard knife. The guard and I'm not sure your knife would handle this. I guarantee it would. Thank you, thank you, I was trying to decide if I bent it which I, I didn't but the, the grind is slightly uneven I think. Who made this piece of junk? I made that board. You're just waiting for me to miss and smack my hand. Or shoot a fireball at yourself. Playing with fire gone wrong. That's the video you're talking about. That was not me. I was the one recording it. I don't know about that. Were that. you the one recording the penny video too and now somebody else splitting pennies? Maybe so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. With Nathan and Dad was splitting pennies. And we it was like... Dude, I got a bunch of oak and a table so I can fire up real quick. I'm having fun. Okay. You in a hurry? 
I'm not. That's I'm just, good. I'm having fun. That's good. That's the most important thing. That I'm having fun? That you're having fun. Life's way more important than me having fun. Probably so. Drain's running off. Oh, that sucker's looking so good. Hey, you can do it right here. What do you think? I've done better. <laughs> this ain't bad. Definitely learned some things. Yeah. What do you think? I think so. I mean, I think it's delicious. Like you said, maybe your seasoning mix could have used more black pepper. Um, I'm not, I can tell you one thing for myself. Better than McDonald's. Yeah, I'm not buying $30 bags of charcoal. <laughs> I got those. But look at this, guys. This stuff is amazing. It is tasty, flavorful, cooked. Juicy. Juicy, yes. I could probably wring that out. Yeah, Ouch. Look, the, wi the wing has caught in juice. Oh, drippings. wow. Yeah. It's got a bat wing full of juice. Woo! Baby, that's hot. Yeah, juicy. Mmm. Ch chicken, chicken. Yeah, chicken. When I caught the smell, when I brought it up to my mouth to bite, bite it, that made me happy. You're all right. Mm. Help him up, Judah. <laughs> Judah, help him up. Wow. Come on, show me. What do you got? Where are you going with that? Just a little bit of. Gotta stick it in the cooler. You're bringing happiness home. Happiness home. Mm.
So y'all, that was us smoking. We learned some things. Yeah. I learned some things, you learned some things, we learned some things together. Later, I'm gonna have him down, and I'm just gonna do up some stuff just completely the way I do them. I'm gonna come up to his place. I'll probably kill some of my chickens. Bring him up to your place, and he'll show me how the Komodo Joe likes the expensive charcoal, it's still there. It's an expensive grill too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, how it works when you bring expensive stuff together. But for those of you guys who don't know, this is a friend of mine, Patrick from MT Knives, and if they follow you back over to your channel, what are they gonna find? All sorts of crazy stuff, random stuff, sharpening stuff, knife stuff. Knife stuff. Knife stuff, yeah. Good knives, I'll say that. A regular knife just doesn't cut it. Not compared to yours. Unless I sharpened it. Unless he sharpened it, yeah. <laughs> Every time he comes over, he's just like, oh, I should sharpen this knife. Like, I can't hand him a knife or do yeah. something with a knife without him immediately sharpening it. So. But what do you have now? I do not have cast net skills. No, now. but what do you have? <laughs> he's supposed to teach me how to cast net. Now you have a stone. I got a stone. So he gave me a stone back, this time. Your knives are just going to be smoking sharp. Yeah, so what he gave me is no excuse. Not And not smoking the way I smoke. Right, right. Sm Pop up pepper smoking sharp. Exactly. <laughs> you still enjoying that? Yeah. He's still enjoying it. Well, thanks. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. We wish we could have caught some fish at the lake. We were close. We were close. But uh, maybe next time. Maybe next time. Until then, this has been Papa Pepper. Papa, make it rain. <laughs> Pop out. <laughs>